you know late spring is here. Maybe, you know, mid-spring, when you walk outside and you're looking at your, this is not a cherry tree, but very commonly found on cherry trees, is what you're seeing right here is known as the tent caterpillar. And it is something that occurs every spring. The eggs are laid on the branches. They hatch out in the spring. And the caterpillars feed up and down all these branches. So, a couple things. Let's just take a look here. This is what it looks like. And the caterpillars now are back inside this uh, tent, which we're gonna look at in a minute. Now my grandfather, Martin Viette, his favorite way of getting rid of these, which I'm not gonna do for you, I'm sorry, but he would take his hand and he would take the tent and he'd go like this and he would do this and that's how he got rid of them. He didn't use chemicals to spray the tents. I know of another way people try to get rid of these. It's not my recommendation, but they would take a cloth and make like a little handheld torch and they would torch the tents, but that's not really good for your trees. And there could be other problems too with fires. So I don't recommend that either. One thing you can do is during the winter months, you can use what is known as an oil spray. They used to call those dormant oil sprays, but they've really refined those sprays. Now they're sort of called all season long sprays. And people would spray them, coat the branches. Now remember, if you're doing this in the winter above a 40 degree day, you're going to see no leaves and they would coat the branches and the egg cases are about an inch long and they pretty much just, you know, surround the branch and they coat them with this oil spray and it suffocates the insect. Uh, one of them is called Bonides All Season Oil, which is great to use before they even hatch out. Then there are some things like BT or Dipel. It's a natural uh, bacteria that you spray the tree with, and when the caterpillars feed on that, especially when they're young, it controls them. So we're gonna take a look here and see what this nest looks like. And so what these caterpillars do is, um, I believe it's during the evening is when I see a lot of them start to come out. They come out and go up and down the branch and they've removed all the leaves on this branch. Then they go back into the nest. Well, we're gonna take a look at this nest. If you do a lot of hiking, you might see some trees in nature, cherry trees, and you will see that they may be filled with these caterpillars. And again, this is a crab apple. One of my favorite crab apples, by the way, is called Red Jade. It is a beautiful, weeping crab apple. In fact, you could put a little sitting bench under there. Uh, maybe read a book, have a glass of wine, but it's one of my favorite crab apples that is called Red Jade. May not be easy to find. So I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna look and see if we go ahead, there they are, right there. Oh, don't know if you can see that. There it goes, it's gonna crawl off and jump off into the lawn. Yes, it did. And here's another one here. And they are just about ready to leave the nest. In fact, to the point where some of the leaves are growing back around, oh, there's another one. But if you look in here, there's probably 20 to 30 caterpillars. And if you look here, you can just see them. Now, probably the method my grandfather used between his hands was the quickest control method. But again, 10 caterpillars, it tells you and gives you a sign that mid spring is here. I'm Mark Viette. I live in the Shenandoah Valley. Join me next time in the garden.